Hello, Bob. Welcome to the Klipaki TV. Thank you, Francesco. Bob Gordon from Act Lighting in the US. It's uh, our Klipaki distributor for US and Canada. Um, Bob, how do you feel about being Klipaki number one distributor in the world in 2011? Well, how can you not feel anything less than wonderful about that? Remember, our first year was last year. So it's kind of nice to hit a home run in the first inning, if you will, to use an American baseball metaphor. Um, you know, Clay Packy has given us a dimension. We, you know, we're, we were not used to distributing lighting fixtures. Mainly, we were known for control. Um, Clay Packy has given us another dimension, and we're just, we feel vindicated in our efforts to have achieved, a, you know, some good goals in the first year. And of course, that drives you to create better goals for the second year, third year. You know, there's a there's a lot of pressure when you when you're on top. They say there's nowhere to go but down, and we're not going to allow that to happen. And I think Sharpie helped you a lot. You know, just one single product uh, made a huge difference. I think uh, and set a milestone in America. Is that correct? Well, Sh Sharpie was was the right fixture at the right time. Um, you know, especially American designers back in my era used to depend on the aircraft landing lights and you know the yeah. the the idea of beam effects in the air and, and it was such a big part of concert lighting design um, the sharpie is like an an aircraft landing light except much more powerful has a much more beautiful beam of a, a perfect beam um, and is fast moving fixture you know the sharpie on every major television reality concert or dancing type show the, the key effects are always sharpies and I don't care you talk about American Idol the voice the x-factor all of them have feature the sharpie and in television to carry that out the Academy Awards which were just a few weeks ago there were, were 24 gold sharpies on the stage. Gold sharpies? That's correct. I don't think they were actually really gold, <laughs> but they were gold colored. But th they matched cool. they matched the set and um, in, the, in the opening monologue and song that Billy Crystal did, as the camera pans left and right, you see these gold sharpies and they're very recognizable. And, and you know what this means that the lighting designers have rediscovered the aerial beam effects. Yes. It wasn't something that was as great an effect before the Sharpie. I'll give you another example. The, um, the World Wrestling folks, which have large television productions in large arenas, used to rent 8 kilowatt spotlights and a clusters of three and put them over the vomitories, you know, the which are the areas yes, yes, that people yes. come in and go out of the, the stadium. Yes. And that was to allow them, when the camera took a long shot, to, to give something in the distance and show a depth of field. Yes. They found out, and, and that, that, by the way, that, that's a very expensive rental. Now they can use three 189 watt Sharpies in place and get essentially the same effect. That kicks in my mind actually a question. I've seen uh, in Europe uh, a couple of uh, shows, you know, boxing shows, you know, right. with the famous guys from Czech Republic, you know, and um, they had always a big ring in the center, on top of the center ri uh, ring, right. uh, covered by uh, 1500 uh, beam. 1500 right. Beam. Nowadays, actually, designers are rethinking and uh, trying to use sharpies instead uh, well the sharpie is a sharpie is actually a much more well-defined beam of light um, and it it offers a lot more now remember you're not lighting the ring for the camera in, in essence I, I mean in, in the old days when you required 200 foot candles of of consistent light everywhere you know now the the new chip cameras go down to you know four five six seven foot candles the sharpie is a much more interesting beam of light and you, you know we've sold and Francesco can tell me if I'm close to, but but by now very close to 2000 no 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 you get your number from you're way above 2000 so 
what I meant was we're way above 2,000. <laughs> yes. But, but but that's enough that in our market, when you talk about whether it be the television shows, whether it be the concert tours, there is not a major tour or major musical show anymore that doesn't have a Sharpie. It, it, you, you, you know, when you start distributing a product, you say, well, we'd like to concentrate on what shows use our products. And now it's much easier to figure out what shows don't use them because almost all of them do. Um, we all enjoyed in Europe, uh, Rihanna. Have you been? No, the girls are talking now, so well, no Rihanna yeah. applause. But uh, maybe they listen now when I mention the name Madonna. Madonna is uh, prepping for a tour right now. Is, is there any chance for shoppies right now? Uh, quite a few, actually. Yeah. The number that we're getting right now is 170 for that. I mean, you, you talk about when, when we started seeing Sharpies on shows, we'd see a couple of dozen on a show. And then the first show with a lot was Paul McCartney used about 90. Mm -hmm. Then now there's uh, Nickelback yes. has about 250. 250, yes. That is correct. And, you know, so it really has captured the imagination and it does things that no other fixture really does and and does it I mean you know everyone wants to be green it's not just LEDs that are green it's it's getting that powerful a beam for only 189 watts. Catching, catching up on that theme um, we all know that the American market is uh, filled up with uh, 1200 uh, kind of fixtures, right. like fixtures. And uh, everyone, every manufacturer is uh, ha having on display and on sales uh, a kind of energy saving 800 or 900 watt uh, kind of uh, replacement for the 1200 class. Uh, do you see a trend at the moment that uh, the old 1200 fixtures like Mac 2000s for example getting a bit old uh, and the rental companies or production companies are trying to reinvest and looking for new equipment? Is that uh, correct? Well, I, I think this year you'll see a lot of that. You know, the, the problem is that the cutting edge of technology, the, the current class of 1200 watt fixtures are 10 years old. You know, and, and, and not only do they use more energy, but they don't have the same feature set. Um, so, you know, this year a lot of companies are investing money in their inventories. You know, for a, a few years the economy uh, demanded that they save their money, and now they're we're in the cycle where they're going to reinvest. And and we predict a very big year for the uh, QWO. Um, you know, it truly is an amazing fixture. The zoom range is out of this world. Um, you know, I, I, for such a compact fixture. I, I, yeah, for that compact a fixture, it's quiet, so it can be used in, you know, in, in places where you can't have the the noisy fixtures. It, it's small. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it's 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 got all the right attributes. You know, to to be that that thousand pound gorilla in the, in the replacement market. We, we always think in Europe, uh, yes, in Europe it has to be a small like, kind of light fixture, at least lighter than uh, 50, 40 or 50 kilo. Um, so to say, um, when I look at the developments going on in America, to mention PRG and the Best Boys, uh, it's a kind of huge fixture, a huge and heavy fixture. Despite well, you have to remember that PRG creates their own market because they're a lo very large company, um, you know, and, and you can't use that. I mean, uh, listen, they have a great engineer, Jim Bornhorst, who does all of those fixtures. But the truth is, they have relatively few fixtures. You know, when, when, when Clay Packy builds for the rest of the world, you know, there's, there's the fixture just for PRG's own customers, and then there's the fixtures that will excite everyone else in the world, and, you know, and, and that's what we're shooting for. So in Frankfurt, uh, we are showing the first time Aleda, our LED uh, range of uh, first clay packy wash lights. Um, I, I, I could imagine that you're pretty happy to have suddenly something uh, from clay packy to sell in this range. Well, uh, of course, you know, listen, er every new product, and it's a beautiful product, is an opportunity for us. Mm -hmm. And, and you know we look forward to those coming online shortly and you know the, I'm sure that we will acquit ourselves well in, in you know in that range it's yeah. a beautifully built fixture yeah. it's such important thing for us uh, because America as I said before 
uh, is uh, it's the, the country where all the riders are coming from, you know, everything is back first and then it, you know, floats over to America or, uh, sorry, to Europe or to the other continents, you know, so yeah, it's qu quite important for us to know the American opinion about it. Uh, well, it, interestingly enough that I find some of the European LDs really do follow the American example. You know, and in like Madonna's Al Gurdon, he's he's from the UK, and yeah, yeah, you know, but but he lights in a way th that is very similar to what his um, American colleagues, you know, light. And, you know, and, and of course he he did the Super Bowl halftime show, yes. and he did oh yeah, he did. And, and, and but by the way, there were more than 200 sharpies in the Super Bowl halftime show. I think it was 220. That's right. If, That's the number I have to. Yes. If my memory is correct. So. And I hope it's uh, it has been working 220. We have. And I'm, I'm looking for some wood to knock on. Um, we have had tremendous luck with with the Sharpie, the reliability of the Sharpie. Not only that, the lamp that the Sharpie uses is really quite an extraordinary lamp, not just because of the power, uh, the brightness, um, but the consistency in color temperature the, through the life of the lamp. I mean, it's got a lot of very admirable features. And, you know, it, it helps contribute to the success of the fixture because a fixture without a lamp is really energy saving but not very interesting. Bob, we appreciate so much your time. Thank uh, you. Thank you for coming to Frankfurt again. I, f I hope you like Frankfurt. Uh, I do indeed. Actually, we don't like it too much. To be <laughs> <laughs> we like Bob Berlin. Um, if you have any time left, you know, make it, make it, make it uh, visit Berlin, you know, fantastic city. Okay. I love Berlin. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so yeah but he so prefers Bergamo. Bergamo. Bergamo is the best. <laughs> it's, true. it's true. Absolutely true. It's, it's not. It's not easy to find good polenta in Berlin. <laughs> true. That was the best uh, closing sentence I've ever heard. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank Th you. Thank you, Bob. And by the way, we're on the right, uh, right track to have another great year. Okay. Onward. Thanks.